what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? LeVar Ball said that NFL players should follow the league's new protocol for the national anthem. Stand on the sideline or remain in the locker room or get out of their league. There's only one problem with that. The Bleacher Report, the report that I actually first got my report from, took his comments out of context. And they also omitted some things. Yes, he did say those things, but the way they tried to make it seem was that he was some type of bug dancer, uh, company man. So I went back and I looked for the actual video of his comments and I found it on TMZ. Man, these people cold-blooded, man. I was wondering why was it that all of these conservative sites were posting LeVar uh, Ball all of a sudden, his comments? Why were they like in support of LeVar Ball when I know they hate LeVar Ball guts? LeVar Ball has traditionally gone against the evil empire, so to speak. He has gone against the status quo. He has been a champion for the little guy, you know, going against the machine, saying, I'm going to do it my way. Then all of a sudden, these conservative posts, these sites are posting about LeVar Ball and how they support what he's saying. Let me tell you something. If you're black, the conservative sites are not concerned with anything you have to say unless you're regurgitating their talking points, i.e. throwing black people under the bus. If you down for something like that, oh, they with you. That's how you know 100% for sure that a black person is a sellout when conservative sites say that they like them. Notice how they never liked Kanye until recently. They were calling him all kind of names. I hate that guy. Oh, that guy's terrible. Won't he just shut up? Somebody needs to put a bullet in his head. They were saying all kind of things. The minute he threw black people under the bus, slavery was a choice. I like that guy. I'm starting to like that guy, just like they did with LeVar Ball. I, I like that guy. You know what? I've never liked that guy, but, you know, he's got a, he's got a point. And, you know, uh, I like where he's coming from. All of a sudden, I like where he's coming from. I like that guy. So that is what made me want to look further into the story. <laughs> so, yes, he did say that blacks, the people that were standing, primarily black players, if they didn't want to stand for the national anthem or go to the locker room, they should get their own lead. Now, when I first heard it, I gave him, I did give him the benefit of doubt when I first heard it, initially. First heard about it, okay, it must be more to this. He must be saying what I've said and a number of people have said. Hey, yeah, start your own damn league. But they were trying to make it seem like he was saying it in a sellout type of way. Like, you know what, yeah, you don't like it, you know, go get your own league, you know. Uh, stand for the flag no matter what. They tried to make it seem like that's where he was coming from. He was coming from. So the Bleacher Report also, a lot of these uh, sites picked up the report, their report from the Bleacher Report. They reposted from the Bleacher Report. And the Bleacher Report, uh, they actually omitted the part where he said, they asked him, the, the reporter from TMZ asked him, did, uh, uh, is he going to make his players stand? Because he have a new league. Uh, his new league is a youth league. And he said that his players can do what they want to do. They want to stand, stand. They don't, they don't. That's what he said. But they didn't put that little small part in there. 
Why? Because they was trying to cause division, confusion, and because they were trying to control the narrative. The narrative is get as many people, especially black people, to go against what's in the best interest of black people collectively. Divide and conquer. That's what they were trying to do. So I'm glad I caught that bullshit. And I'm glad that they were exposed. These people, they something else, man. There's something else. Like, all of a sudden, I'm reading these conservative comments, and they're going like, or these comments from conservatives, and they're going like, ah, oh, that guy's that guy's the smartest person ever. That's the smartest thing he's ever said. Uh, all of these type of things. It is what it is, though. Uh, then you have the other ones that say, well, you know, he's completely uh, entitled to his own position. Oh, what? He's not a coon because he doesn't listen to what you have to say? Because he's not going with the program? They always try to say things like because he has his own mind. They only say this type of stuff when black people have an opinion, like a, basically like a majority opinion, right? They only say these type of things when they're referencing black issues. When it's white people and anybody else, you never hear comments like, what, he has his own mind. When they go against each other, when you're reading them, reading these comments and they're going against each other, uh, even even if it's, you're not reading some, even if people are just having a general conversation, you never hear people say stuff like, oh, what, because he has his own mind. He's not on the Republican plantation. Uh, you know, you know, you don't like him or, you know, you're calling him names. This is always them trying to control what black people thinks and sticking their nose in the black folks' business. They always got something to say about what we're doing, about how we're trying to control how we feel, what we should think, what type of emotions that we should have, trying to pick our friends for us, trying to tell us who we should like and who we shouldn't like. But that's the whole truth that I just gave you. Whereas the Belisha report omitted, omitted part of the truth and took the man's words out of context. So for jumping the gun, I stand corrected. But I had to put that out there, man. There's something else, man. You got to watch these damn, you got to watch these folks, man. They real sneaky. They real slick, man. Anytime they can try to control the narrative and create division, the they're going to do it. And it's incumbent upon us and, and people, especially people out there that has a, a voice, a platform to speak on it, is to back that bullshit down every time they try to come with it. And that is what I am committed to doing. You don't like it? Kick rocks. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?